How do you fancy being faster on the bike for no extra effort? It sounds too good to be true, right? Well, it's not. It's called Free Speed, we're saving watts. And today we're joined by professional triathlete, Bart Airnaut, who's gonna show us how to get into a better position on our bike to save watts. So thanks for joining us, Bart. Happy to help, guys. So here are Bart's bike position tips. Okay, Bart, let's get started then. I want to get into a nice aero position, but what about the bike? The size, the setup, where do I start? I think the, the most important thing is a, a bike fit, first of all, before you want to buy a bike, or uh, I think the get a proper bike fit uh, saves you a lot of uh, extra costs, you know, to okay. get the right uh, bike frame. Have you ended up switching around frame sizes over the years? Yeah, so with the, with the new BMC bike, uh, I changed from a medium short to medium long. Okay. Uh, just to have it a bit more stable. So right. it's just uh, the bike is the same height, but then uh, longer. So and that's I, an important thing then, so that you're comfortable on the bike, not just aggressive and aerodynamic. Yeah, for me, you know, if you're in an aero position, I also want to be stable and then I'm a bit more, uh, with a longer frame, I'm a bit more stable. I can have the same position on the, on the bike, but uh, the pads are a bit different and uh, I'm uh, not too much uh, in front of the, you know, not with all the weight uh, yeah, in front of the bike. So I just took a longer frame for the stability. And I think in general, a proper bike fit to, be comfortable on the bike and on the on the ride bike. Okay, Bart, so talk to me about the front end and your setup with the bars. Yeah, I think the front end, uh, they used to go all really low and really aggressive, but uh, yeah. it's really important that you're comfortable and that you can stay as much as possible in the aero okay. position. So I wouldn't go too low. Okay, and not, just not, not like me then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Oh, if you can I, hold it, but... Uh, I thought that was what we meant to do. Yeah, yeah, Okay. No. So you've gone a little bit higher now then? Yeah. Okay. To be so. more comfortable, and uh, I think it's also quite important that you can be low enough with the head. Okay. So it's better to go a bit higher with the bars. Right. But lower with the head. Okay. So really so tuck think, that in and yeah, smooth out. Yeah, in, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, make cool. sure you can still see what's coming up, but... Okay. Um, try to stay quite low with the head, yeah, that's... Right. And what about the, the extensions, the poles? I like the ski bend. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's more relaxed in the shoulders. So okay. uh, it's the same thing again. You know, it's a lot about comfort. So you need to be able to hold it like for four or five hours in an environment, even longer for some people. So yeah. make sure it's as relaxed and comfortable as possible. So uh, I like the ski bend, and yeah. but it's really personal. And how, well. how far apart should we go with the um, arm rests, like the elbow rests? I, I tested different setups and uh, same thing again, you make sure you're still comfortable and you can still breathe. Yeah. So I don't like it really tight, it's also less, I mean, a bit unstable. Okay. So the wider you go, the more stable. And um, what I found really important is that the arms are straight, not like angled, okay. but straight. So if you, if you like it a bit wider, then go wider with the you know, with with the extensions the as yeah. well. Yeah, ah, yeah. that's really interesting. Okay. So you, you just touched on head position when we're in the aero bars. How important is that then? Yeah, I think it's really important, the head, you know? It's, it's about frontal area, Drek. Okay. And uh, you can be nice and aero, but if you're with the head up, it's, I mean, it doesn't make sense at all. Yeah. But I think that's why I say it's better to go a bit higher in front and then tuck the head, because then you're a lot lower and less frontal area. Okay, now I don't have an aero helmet on now, but uh, yeah, I mean, with the aero helmet, you can even make it uh, make it better. Make so, sure. give me some tips here. So, if I'm trying to get my head down, what do I do? Do I sort of drop through the shoulder blades? Or? Yeah, drop through. Make, I mean, relax the neck a bit instead okay. of sticking out and then looking to the front. Okay. You don't need to look up that much. Okay. Just try to relax the the head and the neck. You know, in between right. the shoulders. Just comfortable, you know. Okay, it so shouldn't nice be. Relaxed, yeah. yeah, nice, relaxed. Okay. Uh, yeah, at least this way you can uh, you can hold it and then look a little bit to the front. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just uh, yeah. try so to stay like that for. Uh, don't as need to keep my, my, my mouth wide open at the front like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, yeah, nice, relaxed uh, head, looking down a little bit and uh, yeah, go for it.
Okay, so something triathletes talk about quite a lot, the saddle position. What's your thoughts on it? Yeah, I think in, in triathlon we don't have uh, limits or rules uh, on the saddle position, so we can go as far to the front as we want, uh, move it as far to the front or whatever you want, you know. Yeah. We don't I guess there are, there are some benefits to that, right? So you can get into a more aggressive position maybe and I think it opens up the hips a bit for the run. Yeah. Um, but what, what's your thoughts on it? Like, yeah, so you know, uh, you always move to the front of the saddle and I think if you move the saddle a bit more to the front, you can maybe stay on the right position on the saddle, you know, it, that you don't move. You know, the cyclist, the time trialist, they move to the front of the saddle because they have the limits, but we can just move the saddle. Yeah. It makes it a bit more comfortable. Uh, so I moved a bit to the front as well the last years. Uh, just to be really comfortable and uh, I mean, I'm not sure if it helped my running, but it just feels more natural and uh, I have some nice grip. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It holds you on there. Yeah, it holds um, you on the, on the right position, yeah. But is yeah. there a limit? Like, can you go too far? I think you can. Uh, for me, what I feel personally, if, if I move the saddle too much to the front, the handling of the bike, especially on the downhills, is, uh, I don't like it that much, especially down the hill. Uh, yeah, you don't have that. Which we, we get a lot of in triathlon. We don't just hit pan flat, yeah. 50 mile, 25 mile time trial courses. We've got up, downs. Up, down, yeah, course. turns. So uh, I I think the, the bike handles a lot better if you uh, yeah don't move the saddle too much to the front or move the body backwards on the saddle. Okay. That helps a bit as well. So if you go downhill, move the weight more to the back. You have, uh, you're a lot more stable and you have a better feeling on the bike. So I think to finish it off, overall, it's uh, it's really nice if you have the perfect uh, position, but uh, it's all about yeah, holding this position as long as possible in the race. You know, be as aero as possible all the time. So not like getting up out, moving yeah, around. Yeah, don't, don't move around on okay. the bike. You know, try to be really stable, comfortable, and uh, stay in a position. All you right. know, Got not to be going up, down. You know, like moving a lot. If you can't hold the position, then. Try to pick another position that you can hold and be stable in yeah. for uh, as much as possible. So there we go. If you'd like to go faster on the bike for no extra effort, listen to this guy because he certainly knows a thing or two about riding his bike. Thanks for joining us, Bart. Great to have you. Morning, um, if you like this video, click on the globe to subscribe to GTN. If you want to know more about uh, bike upgrades, click down here. If you'd like to do an FTP test and find out how to, just click down here.